leaf spring maintenance on my 2017 Chevy Colorado. And when I say maintenance, um, we're gonna do something that gets rid of that annoying leaf spring noise that so many uh, second generation Colorados and Canyons have. My rear leaf springs clunk like a madman going over bumps and coming out of my driveway and they don't sound like a truck with 29,000 miles on it should. And a lot of these trucks have been making this noise since new. Someone came up with a fix to install some rubber sheeting in between a section of the leaves on both sides of the truck on the front and the rear uh, side of the leaf. So what I've done is cut this rubber sheeting, which is a quarter inch thick, um, to six inches and four and a half. That seems to be the size that works. The four and a half is for the front and the six is for the rear. I bought it from Amazon. It's a big sheet. I just cut it with a razor knife um, to the sizes I want. And then I'm going to install it into the leaves. I've already done this side, but I'll show you exactly what is going on here. There's some noise originating from the leaf here slapping the top leaf here. Um, don't know why, it's just a bad design by GM. There is a, a, a rubber pad in there by the for the factory. You can see it sticking down here. Um, this part here and this part here in between the leaves, but they really don't do the job. So what I did was I cut that rubber sheeting and you can see I've already installed it there um, between the top leaf and the next leaf down on the back. And then also same deal on the front. I've uh, installed it there between the top leaf and the next leaf down. Now, if I continue to have noise, the next step is going to be installing a sheet between the middle leaf and the next leaf down. If this doesn't work out, I will add another sheet between the next layer of leaves. So, and you can tell I've lifted by the frame and then I've secured it with jack sand. Just be safe out there, guys. I don't want to see anyone get hurt. Um, but this wheel is completely off of the ground to let that leaf um, sit all the way down. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, take it for a drive, and I'll report back with my findings. So I took the truck for a drive. I'd say the noise is reduced by about 75%. Um, I definitely still need to do some power washing on the springs themselves because they're a little dirty from driving on uh, some job sites. But uh, I'd say I'm satisfied with the amount of noise reduction. Um, I may end up adding another one, like I was saying, in between the uh, third and second and see how that helps. But um, at least you can see now one option. I'm trying to get a shot. There you go. You have at least one option to try to get rid of. When you take it to the dealer for this, they just grease the hell out of them. And it only lasts temporarily. This piece of rubber, rather, is going to last a lot longer than grease, which is why I chose to do it this way. You can see <clears throat> I've got it on both sides now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add another set and then um, see what happens. But anyways, <clears throat> thanks for watching. If you like this video, 